Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories as always. I'm your host Chris Jack. Today, returning to the OG Style 700 V1 with the Sun colorway from Adidas and Kanye West. Without further ado, let's check them out. All right, so the 700 V1 is back with the Sun colorway from Adidas and Kanye West. The 700 silhouette has to be one of my favorite from the entire Yeezy line. Definitely a pair that I've got multiple different colorways in. The Wave Runner definitely being my favorite, and this is kind of a play on that particular colorway. And it's certainly from a silhouette perspective and just kind of structural how they've created V1 versus V2 and the slight variations you get between all pairs, which we'll touch on a little bit in this review. But I want to get on to the main big talking point about the 700 V1 Sun was the reduction in price point. This particular pair in South Africa would usually retail at 4999 or 5 grand. However, this particular time they came out at 4,499 Rand. So a 500 Rand price decrease. I think in the States, the general retail price was $300 and it dropped to around 220. I'm not actually sure if that's correct, but there was definitely a reduction in that as well. Now, as far as the eye can see, and as far as I've seen with this particular pair, there's absolutely no difference between the OG Wave Runner and this particular pair when it comes to material structure, quality, or build on the shoe so i don't know what it is maybe they've just realized it was kind of overpriced for what you were getting in this pair versus some of the other models that they were bringing out at better price points maybe they were trying to increase sales who knows there's no visible difference between this pair or any of the other v ones that i've seen now starting underneath with the outside of the shoe you've got that standard 700 v1 outside over here it's got a bit of a light chocolatey gray overlay here where the traction points are and then of course you've got the boost windows right through there now for those of you that don't know the 700 v1 does have a completely encapsulated boost midsole and for me it's incredibly comfortable underfoot the rest of the coloring in and around that and wrapping up into the midsole is this orangey sort of gradient that you get here from some of the photos you saw online it kind of just looked like a single color however there is definitely a bit of a washed effect that's going on here uh, with a bit of a gradient uh, which basically just runs all the way around the shoe itself and then just moving into the upper of the shoe the standard 700 v1 material treatment chair with suede overlays and mesh paneling throughout in the toe box over here, you've got that traditional sort of V-shaped toe cap overlay, which is done in this kind of like a darky gold, orangey, yellowy, I don't even know what color to call that, to be honest, but that is obviously done in that suede overlay. And then set fist behind that, you've got these greens and turquoises here with the mesh panel underlays. Uh, and then just stitched over that, you've got that hip of 3M locking in the laces towards the forefoot of the shoe. Uh, and there's another little 3M hit just up that yellow mesh tongue as well. Moving further back down the side of the shoe, you do have these black suede overlays over here. Uh, these are quite nice because they have been trimmed with like kind of a normal flat leather around the edges of that. That's something we have seen on previous other versions of the 700 V1. It just ties it in really, really neatly for me. Uh, and then just further to the back here, another two hits of 3M in those underlaid panels. From a lacing perspective, one set of laces provided with the shoe, they are that kind of like ropey kind of lace uh, with padding in them. These are just done in a sort of a light gray color. Very similar to what you got with the OG Wave Runners, if I remember correctly. And then swinging around to the heel section of the shoe. Again, you've got that sort of same color matchup from the toe box uh, represented in the heel suede overlays there with a whole bunch of other 3M detailing just punched out through that suede. Now on the medial and the lateral side, just behind this yellow mesh section, you do have the three stripes, which are also 3M. So under certain lighting conditions or flash, those will actually light up with the three stripes that we're used to seeing. And then just delving inside of the shoe, one of the questions many people ask me here as there have always been different variances between different V1 models. For instance, the 700 Salt over here had an elasticated tongue, as did the Mauve, the Wave Runner didn't, and this is the same as the Wave Runner, so it's completely an independent tongue on the 700 Sun. It does not have any elastication parts there. Uh, the one thing which does match up to some of the other models is the inclusion of the Ortholite insole. Uh, this particular one over here just has the Yeezy logo and the Adidas Performance logo in the heel on a flat yellow surface, and then the Ortholite different coloring here in blue and kind of a little creamy white with speckles in it underfoot. Now, speaking of the Ortholite insole, this was maybe one of the considerations I was expecting to be missing from the 700 V1 Sun, just from a price point point of view. Uh, the 700 V1 Mauve over here did not have the Ortholite insole, so it was just the standard Yeezy insole that you would get kind of on a 350 as well. Uh, so this was an upgrade that happened somewhere in the V1, uh, but it's still represented here in the Sun, so 
pretty surprised to see that as it was really looking for a way or a place where they would have tried to kind of call back some of that price point reduction uh, that we saw in this particular shoe. But overall speaking, it's literally the same thing uh, as the 700 V1 Wave Runner or any of those other kind of models. Uh, it's an incredible colorway for me at least. I will say it is quite a difficult one to pull off, like at least for my style or my aesthetic, I guess. I don't have a lot of colors that really go with this. So you kind of have to just end up like blacking out the pants or sticking with something super tonal to just let the shoes do the talking on feet. But either way, super glad I managed to cop a pair of these. As mentioned, I'm a huge fan of the 700 V1. So this one was definitely one that I needed in the collection. And I'm really excited to see what other colorways they bring out here. We all saw the photos of the Forbes magazine, perhaps, where there were a whole bunch of different 700 V1 colorways. I think Kanye even posted one of the warehouse somewhere where they were all lined up in the circles. We'll overlay that shop for you, where there were hundreds of insane v1 colorways at least in my opinion uh, so really excited to see what's coming i think the next one here is a different take on this particular colorway with a bit more of a blue top section to the shoe uh, that one also really excites me so really excited to see what comes from adidas and Kanye West as far as this particular silhouette goes from a pricing perspective as mentioned already 4499 rand here locally in south africa from a sizing perspective i would definitely suggest going with the same sizing that you've had in previous 700s if you haven't had any 700s before i do take a true to size in this particular version it is a little bit tight in the toe but it's something that i've been very used to with the easy models I generally don't mind going true to size, but it is obviously safest to take a half size up if you don't know your size already. But that is it for this particular review of the 700 V1 Sun. I hope you guys have found it helpful, enjoyable. If you did, please do me the favor, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe right here for more content like this unboxing down the line. But that's all for me for today, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.